Hi, and welcome to Project 3, Creating Your Own Black and White Postcard. Um, I have started writing a new document. I am going to call this... I'm going to select a landscape six because that tends to be very close in size um, to a regular postcard. So I'm going to create. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, and I am going to open a file. And I'm going to open this one in particular. This is my original image, and I don't want to have any damage come to it in case I mess up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select menu, select all, edit, copy. Now I'm going to jump back to project three. I will go edit and paste it. And holding down the shift key to construct it, I am going to make this as big as I need to. Double click to make it stick. Remember, um, what we are going to do next is we are going to go layer and we are adjust it. Now we can do any number of things here. We can um, work with exposure so we can make it really dark, offset it, but this is not really what we want to do. So here and adjustment layer. The easiest way to do this, quite frankly, is just go to black and white. Boom. We now have um, we now have a black and white postcard. What I want to do now is I want to create just a layer, and I am going to call this text. And I use my text. I I am going to come up here and I am going to find a font that I like, that I think will stand out. And that is um, appropriate to the place. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try the Gill Sands for the simple reason that. Um, uh, it's easy enough to work. Okay, I have typed it. It is yellow, which is not a terribly um, good color to use. So I am going to go back to my text and select it. Now I can go here. I can find something that is a bit more in keeping. I don't like my font. It's all squashed together. Let's see what Bert standard like. Okay, so I mean my biggest decision here, I'm going to go monotype cursiva. I need to make this a little smaller because I'm covering up um, too much of the image. And I can just move it around. Okay, you'll notice that I've made a typo, so I'm going back to my text. There we go, and there we go. We have a black and white postcard with some very bright lettering standing out from it, and that's how you complete Project 3. I hope this has been helpful, and we will see you in the next demo video.